Well, for many years, we're used to this. We're used to tabs running across the top of your screen. And as you add them, they shrink or expand on the size, depending upon the number of tabs you have. Good news. There's a new thing coming out called side tabs uh, from Edge Chromium. Besides the obvious advantage of having them all in the same place close to each other, you can configure a little bit to use less space. So here's how you get started. To enable this ability, we're going to go to the Edge Settings. So we do that by going over here, click there, and we'll go down here to where it says uh, Settings. We bring that page up. And you're going to land on your main opening page here. To enable the function, we have to move on to the Appearance page. And that's going to allow us to click on uh, a button. Now once you're there, I'm not sure if this is going to be on or off, but if you enable it, you'll see there's a button at the top left-hand corner. So I'm going to close the settings page and then we'll just see our tabs up here. So right now we're in normal mode with three tabs. If I click on this button though, I enabled side tabs and you'll see this changed where the tabs are now listed there. Now I accidentally uh, closed them, but let me turn it on again. Now actually using the tab function uh, is just like before. You click on the little mark here next to the list and you create a new tab and you can browse to whatever you want to. And it's now another open tab. So now if you type something in there, you end up with a uh, website that you wanted to go to. In this particular case, I'm going to WebMD. And there it is listed in the side tabs. Now what's important to note is that if you are over here and you're just hovering over here, that sidebar pops out overlaying part of your site. If you click over here, you'll see that WebMD, that's the case. If I go to my site, uh, same thing. Now on some sites that use the entire width of the site, that may be important. Uh, my site uh, doesn't know there's WebMD, but if you do have that problem, you can always switch over to the other mode, and that is to pin the panel, and the site just resized itself in the remaining space. So now its vertical width is a little bit different than what it was before, uh, but if you click back, you'll see the entire site again in its full resolution. But what's good about this, it gives you, the user, the ability to either use whatever mode you like, either the pop-out mode where you look at the site, or to sit there and have them always there uh, with their description showing. And there it is, another great new feature coming to Edge Chromium. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for more. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.